But first at five, we're tracking the growing problem of retail theft here in California. ABC 10's Alicia Machado joins us live in studio with the latest on efforts to address the problem. And Alicia, you are learning new developments just into our newsroom. Yeah, Laura and Chris, we just got word that the ballot initiative aimed at tackling retail theft is eligible for the November ballot. You might know it as Prop 47, the reform initiative. The Secretary of State's office just confirmed today that they have enough signatures. And as debate grows, the question is, who should decide how California addresses retail theft? Well, Democrats are pushing for lawmakers to pass a package of bills over the issue appearing before voters on the ballot. And Republicans want the bills to pass as is and the initiative as well. The debate over how to handle retail theft is heating up in California. But hogwash has been coming from our Republican colleagues. Mr. Pro Tem, you can put lipstick on a pig, but it's still a pig. And this is quite an oinker. It's about politics. The retorts in regards to a package of public safety bills addressing retail theft in California. Republicans speaking out against proposed amendments to some of the bills by Democrats that would add urgency and inoperability clauses. Democrats pushing back against their criticism. This comes as an effort is underway to allow voters to reform Prop 47 through a ballot initiative. Prop 47 was passed by voters in 2014 and raised the threshold amount for misdemeanors. But as retail theft became a bigger problem, calls to reform the law grew louder from retailers and law enforcement in recent years. The bills appeared before the Senate and Assembly Public Safety Committees Tuesday, among them a bill to consolidate theft charges over jurisdictions. We must give our law enforcement and local prosecutors the tools they need to address these sophisticated crime rings and hold these enterprises accountable for their criminal activity. As a public defender, I know that theft is an act of desperation and efforts to curb theft must address root causes. On Tuesday, the bills were voted on without amendments, but lawmakers say the amendments will be taken up in the Appropriations Committee, something Republican lawmakers are unhappy about after touting the bipartisan support the bills received as is. If it comes up in appropriations, I will vote no on this because we don't need games. We need to protect our retailers. Now, if the urgency clauses are added to the bills, they would go into effect immediately if the governor signs them. Now, as for the Prop 47 reform ballot initiative, the Secretary of State will certify the initiative as qualified on June 27th to head before voters in November.